Y'all full face of color pop. I am excited. If you're new here, hey, my name is Heather and I cannot wait to try out ColourPop Twilight. I bought it during the restock. I had to. I saw all the hype and I'm like, okay, add to cart. Let me try this. I got the lip oils. I bought all of those. I bought the palette. I have some complexion products. I bought a highlighter. I bought a new cream blush these are too cute to pass up so we're gonna get ready together today full face of color pop let's do this first thing we're gonna do is put a lip oil on because my lips are needing a little moisture and i'm not sure what type of lip product we'll go in with at the end so i want to start by hydrating these are the color pop lip oils and let me just say these outer components like the boxes are gorgeous i wish they would have brought that to the actual component i feel like they could have printed like a holographic wolf a holographic truck like they could have printed this logo i don't they, they could have done a little bit more but there i was on the ColourPop site giving them my credit card information and i still want the other highlighter so these are critiques but it didn't stop me from buying so one thing I do love, I mean, I, I love a lot of things. I love the Lux lip oil formula, but I do love that they gave us two sparkly ones and then they gave us like a blood red. We'll put these all on at some point today, but I'm gonna start with this one. This is Bella. And the Lux lip oils are such a good formula. I have bought too many of the ColourPop Lux lip oils, honestly. Like, look at this little frizzy. Look at this little frizzy. Go home, go home, go home. There we go. Well, no, it's back. It's humid today, y'all. It is humid today. So look at this lip oil. Very pretty, very sheer, but it does have that hint of color. Very comfortable on the lips. So we'll start off with this one. So we're going to try the pretty fresh foundation. This is the hydrating foundation and I have bought this foundation and I didn't like find the right shade for me. I even went in store to Ulta and I've just never been able to find like a perfect shade match. ColourPop asked me if they could send me some foundation. So I was like, yes, let me try like different shades and we'll see. And I pulled out an olive mixer so that I can just add a little olive if I need to. So here is medium 110 W. I feel like that looks pretty good. Here is 120 W. I definitely feel like this one maybe pulls a little more olive-y. I do have an olive undertone. I would say I'm like saturated, warm leaning. So I think these are not gonna be too bad. I wanna kinda custom mix a shade and I am going to use an olive product to mix in. If you have olive skin, invest in some mixers. If you are fair, grab a light green. It'll work great for you. But I'm going to use this Face Atelier Olive shade. I love it because it does have that like brown skin-like undertone to it. Here is my custom mixed shade and I think that's going to work best for me. So let me grab a sponge and we are going to press this in. I'm excited to get a feel for this foundation now that I have hopefully a better shade um, and see kind of what I really think about it. Now I am already primed. I am wearing actually a couple of different primers because you can probably tell my skin is peeling a little bit like right around here in my mouth area. I am just having a little bit of peeling. So I went in with a primer that would kind of more target that. And then I went in with a more mattifying primer for the rest of my face because, hi, I have oily skin. Not combo, not oily in the T-zone, oily. Oily, oily. And I do see questions sometimes of people asking me like, well, now that you're getting older, Heather, are you less oily? Really, no. <laughs> And I definitely get my oily skin from my dad who still has pretty oily skin, you know? So I am 
still oily so I'm using mattifying everywhere except right in here where my skin is a little tight and I've got that peeling I think this is looking nice and it is a hydrating foundation which you know normally you may be like you should avoid that with oily skin but I find that if I prep my skin correctly and I use you know a mattifying primer and then I use the right powders things like that on top that I can really like the way some hydrating foundations look on my skin and I think this one's looking really nice I don't think it's too glowy too dewy let's try the ColourPop pretty fresh concealer again i tried this i don't think i got the shade right it's a very thin concealer i'm going to use the shade medium 90w today and we will see how this looks that's pretty light but that's okay maybe i should have got a little bit of a deeper shade but we'll go for that bright under eye highlighted look which will be great listen i love makeup i love testing and trying new makeup i am constantly trying new things and i like different makeup aesthetics depending on the day you know so maybe it's time for like full glam highlight under the eyes super bright type of look today i can get down with that i can definitely get down with that and i like to let my concealer set for a couple of minutes before i blend it in i feel like it gives me the most coverage full coverage hydrating creamy concealer effortlessly blends into skin to conceal and brighten eyes correct the look of imperfections with a natural finish and it does say this has hyaluronic acid in it i like a medium coverage foundation concealer i love a medium coverage i think this is looking really good let's bronze with my super shock bronzer <laughs> you can see i have used this one a ton i bought this one at first launch so i've had this one a while i'm gonna use the shade beachin but i do have the darker shade in dream vacay that i'll probably use come summertime i'm bronzing up I'm thinking this shade is looking great on me, the Beechin shade, and I'm just kind of pressing it in. I'm going to have my makeup on all day today. I have errands to run. I have things to do today, so I need my makeup to last. I typically wear my makeup all day, and I'm, I'm saying like today's makeup is probably going to be on 12 hours or so, so we're going to sandwich our products if you really want your bronzer your blush things like that to like last throughout the day of course like good products and things like that make a difference but also kind of like sandwiching your products can make a big difference like putting down this before i set my face with powder then powdering my face then going in with the powder bronzer this super shock bronzer does look nice even on top of a set face but i kind of want to layer my products today because more is more why not it's morning time i'm getting ready and we're just gonna play let's let's do all the products when i placed my order for the twilight stuff i grabbed one of these new blushes from colourpop this is the lip and cheek balm in the shade adore you and initially i was not planning to pick these up because i had a powder blush in this heart compact before and as beautiful as it is it was so difficult to open for no reason i heard through the grapevine that these are different components they're easier to open so i'm like okay let me try it also are we ready to peel this sticker off together it's so satisfying it's so satisfying I love that. So I have never tried this. You can see, never been used. So I'm going to just kind of put my finger in it to get a feel for the formula. And that looks like pigment. It looks like we have some pigment. And it feels definitely like dewy. You can even see on my hand, it has this like dewiness to it which is making my oily skin a little nervous i'm not gonna lie it's making my oily skin a little nervous i don't want it to lift any products underneath so what i'm actually going to do is 
work this into my brush. I don't want to go straight on the face. I'm, I'm worried that it's a little too dewy for that. So I'm going to pick up a good amount on my finger actually. And I'm going to put it back on my palm like this. And I'm going to grab my brush and really kind of like work my brush into this product. I'm using a fluffier brush and I'm really going to work the product into the bristles. This is my first time using this blush formula, so I'd rather be cautious. And I'm just going to kind of press it on. You see, I'm not swiping or blending like that. Here is what our blush is looking like. Very beautiful. I think if you have dry skin, you will really like this formula. Like I said, it is balmy. It feels a little more dewy hydrating than say like the Bosma cream blush that I bought recently and really like. It doesn't feel any like more thick or heavy or sticky than any other liquid product on my face though. So with oily skin, I always set my face. It's not a question. You're never going to see me do makeup like this and not set my face with powder. One, I have oily skin. So my oils are coming through like even with primers, th they'll, they'll push a liquid off my face. And I live in a humid place. It is so humid today. It's not hot, but it's warm. I think it's going to be 80 Fahrenheit. And the humidity is going to try to break up my makeup as well. So I rely on powders always. So I think that once I set with powder, this is still going to be really, really beautiful. But like I said, if you have dry skin and you don't like to set with powder, I do think you may really like this balm. So let's highlight. I, like I said, I was on the ColourPop site. I was ready. I was like, I had my alarm set to add everything to my cart, right? Like everything I wanted. But one of the highlighters actually sold out while I was checking out. So I was only able to get this one. And this is Meadow. So we are going to sandwich our products for long wear today. I'm going to put the highlighter on now. And I'm going to use the same highlighter after I set my face. I love ColourPop Super Shop everything basically. <laughs> But I love the Super Shock Cheap products, especially the blushes and highlights. So we're, we're going to use this under a set face and on top. So my biggest gripe with this, let me just say, let me just complain, okay? Can I complain? <laughs> Is that ColourPop did not take it to the next level with the packaging. I don't know why. We have seen them do the Super Shock packaging for like their Sailor Moon highlighter. Like they can do cardboard packaging in their Super Shock formula. We've seen them do it before, but they just chose to use their standard component in black and print Twilight on the front. Like they did the least, the least amount of effort. They literally were like, Twilight highlighter. Okay. Like, well, you can have it in black and we'll print the name. They should have done it in a cardboard packaging. They should have done something like this is called meadow. Why not have the picture of the meadow? It would have been great. It would have been great. It would have been great. But either way, I bought it. I just think they, they could have given us more. They really, really could have. But this is looking like a white, pinky, purpley, iridescent highlighter. And I am so happy to have this shade and a Super Shock highlighter added to my collection because it's a favorite formula for me. Let's pick this up. I know ColourPop said that they're going to do another restock of this. And I do plan to get the other shade of the highlighter. I think it's like Vampire Skin or Killer Skin or something. I, I don't think it's Killer Skin. I think it's Vampire Skin. And um, I plan to pick that up. I wasn't really interested in the liners or anything. I'm going to press this highlighter on. Look at that, my phone's beeping. I'm using a Singe Beauty brush and it's Angie that's messaging me. We love that bestie. I know Angie said she really wanted her highlighter brush to work with Super Shock shadows or Super Shock like blush and highlights. And it definitely does. That's pretty, right? Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Like, give me a sparkle, give me a shift, give me something, and it just like speaks to my soul. It makes me so happy. I am not trying to be perfect. I want to have fun with makeup. Makeup to me is creativity, it's self expression, it makes me happy. It's my me time. And when you can give me a sparkle, like, look at that, like, pinky purple cheek. 
it's just, it's just, it's just, it's, that, that's what it is. It's just making me so happy. So I'm just gonna set my under eyes with a loose powder, kind of buff in the rest of my face, a finishing powder, fill in my brows. I have filled in my brows with y'all the past few like full face videos and I don't want to get repetitive and boring. So I'm just gonna do that off camera and then I will come back and we're gonna play with Twilight. Twilight, Twilight. Before we do anything else, I did wipe that lip oil off and we're gonna go in with a different one. I just thought it would be fine, you know, we're here. Let's kind of like lip swatch them as we go. This is going to be Team Edward. Team Edward is the blue sparkly lip oil. And I really like fun lip oil colors. I have a blue from Bloom Bunny that I really like, and I like that they did something different with this collection. I was very excited to see a blue and black lip oil. Let's talk about this palette. I do like that the outer sleeve is so different from the inside packaging. I just, like, that is a little extra that's nice. You have, like, two different options. And, you know, I, I would have loved a Twilight collection themed around the books because I love the books, but they themed it around the movie. And if you've seen the movies, there's like this blue filter over the whole movie. I don't, I don't know what it was, but I do like this outside packaging, like having, you know, the trees and the forest and stuff. I think this color story is very pretty. It's very Twilight the movie, right? It's not Twilight the books. It's not overly vampire. It's that theming of the movie, how everything is this like blue tone. You've got the greens of the trees. You've got enough neutrals in here, but I, I really don't like that they put a photo of Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart here. Like I would have loved to have seen anything else. I have been doing a lot of green here on my channel. We've been doing a lot of green leading up to St. Patrick's Day. So maybe we'll play with some of the other shades for today's look for my first impression of this palette. Before we do anything though, we are going to grab an eyeshadow primer because again, oily skin. We're going to start off with this shade right here. This is called Say It Out Loud. We're also going to use Irrevocably. I definitely want to use those two shades to kind of start the look with. Say it out loud. <laughs> I can just hear the drama from the movie as I read that shade name, it cracks me up. I'm just gonna put it kind of all in my socket. This is such like, oh, it's pulling so like gray. I know it's like a taupey color but the gray is coming through. I picked a very light eye base. Again, I'll make sure to put it all in the description box, but wow, that is super duper cool. Now for me, like my favorite eyeshadow shades are any shades. <laughs> uh, I love it all. I'm telling you neutral color, everything just, more and more and more but if I had to say like my favorites especially when it comes to neutrals they're going to be warmer tones olivey undertone neutrals golden type of neutrals I really need to get their golden hour palette actually it's on my list but I would love to see them come out with one that's a little more olive than that even but it is fun to play with cool tones sometimes, especially because of like how much it will contrast for me. Just like if you have a cool undertone, you may like really like the contrast sometimes that warm tones give you, even if your preference is cooler tones. But that blended really well, right? That looks pretty. Let's go ahead and do irrevocably. So I'm gonna press this on first. I really like the kind of gray blue of this shade. I think it's an interesting color for this palette. I think it fits the theme of the movie really well. So I'm just going to 
pull it a little bit under the outer corner lower lash line and I just press the pigment on first because I like a pigmented look not a sheer wash of color so I stamp it on and then lightly blend I'm gonna go back with that original brush that I started with and just kind of like buff things out a bit just no additional product really making sure that things are seamless I want to take ColourPop Swerve cream gel liner I really like the BFF liners from ColourPop I bought so many over the years and I'm gonna put this in my waterline sorry I have to like focus a little bit when I'm this close to my eye and I'm also gonna bring it like just in the lash line not like too far underneath it but like in the lashes because I want to use this as kind of a little bit of a base for the shadow you see how like creamy that is but it does like kind of set in place and stay I will say not all colors in the ColourPop cream gel liner formula are created equally some of them like are more pigmented and last better than others but that one is really good like swerve the black is good I know I said that we weren't gonna do green but you you gotta you gotta let me live my life okay you gotta let me have just a little touch of it so this is lion and lamb and this looks like a really pretty like duochrome color so I am going to pick that up on my brush and I'm going to stamp that on top of our swerve liner the black and I'm just gonna stamp first and then I will drag and blend after I kind of stamp it on top so that's intense right there at the lash line and then I'm going to just drag it around and blend it lower so that even when my mascara is on you're gonna be able to see the green oh I am loving it and the urge to add more depth is so strong like I really want to take this shade right here this beautiful oh, forever young and just like put it in the outer corner to get but I kind of want to do something different today. I love a deep dark outer corner and I I don't want to do that today. I want to do something different. I want to keep this a little lighter and brighter than I typically do. And I want to go in with Edward because it looks like this icy silvery white maybe with a little bit of like a blue tinge to it like very much so. But then it, it seems to have this like multicolor rainbow sparkle to it, which is intriguing to me. So I know I said this in a recent video, so I'm sorry for being too repetitive, but I'm going to use my brush that's a little stiff, but also fluffy. And you see, I'm really like coating the shadow. This palette is mine. I paid for it. It is in my possession. So I'm not going to just like barely tap if I don't need to. I, I'm, I'm going to get the shadow worked into my brush and then I'm going to spray my brush with a little setting spray, preferably one that has glycerin, whatever you want to use. But if you can use one that has glycerin in it, that will work best. And when the brush is not wet, but a little more than damp, I would say like damp is good. I, I've made the reference before, like when your hair is just towel dried. That, that's kind of what I'm going for as far as like how wet I want my brush to be. And then we are going to put it on and we'll talk about that too. I'm going to press the shadow on first. Now, this is how I like to get my shimmers, sparkles, anything like that on because I feel like it just, this type of brush and technique and all really just disperses the shimmer and the sparkle so well but the downside is you usually do get some fallout this way and I just have to tell you like I, I really don't care I mean spraying the brush will help with some of that fallout 
but just the nature of the brush being more fluffy rather than flat, you are gonna get some fallout sparkle that's so pretty. Oh, I love it. What's it called, Edward? Well, that makes sense. That makes sense because he's like diamond skinned, right? This shade would also look so pretty if I put down a black eyeshadow base underneath or more intense if I use like a glitter glue, a glitter primer, an adhesive, something like that. But we are going with the softer vibes today. So I'm really liking the way that that looking and we're gonna highlight the inner corner. We're gonna highlight the inner corner. I'm going to go in with, ooh, maybe we should keep the inner corner matte because I have like the sparkle, this beautiful shade underneath, but no. No, that was a fleeting thought that ends in me using the shade Ice Cold and just pressing a little bit right here. I am going to use my ColourPop Level Up Mascara in black. I really love this mascara. I actually just repurchased it. Pretty sure that was in my weekly haul. Not this past one, but the one before. Because I really do like it. But I'm also going to do a half lash because I love it. I love it. And I'll be back because we got a bronze. We're going to put more highlight on. I don't know that I'm going to put more blush on, though. I do, maybe, maybe, because I do want my makeup to last all day, so maybe I should sandwich. I don't, we'll think about it. I really like this eye look. It's definitely, like, lighter and brighter, but I, I feel like the shadows worked beautifully. Everything worked like the good ColourPop that I know, so I am happy with it for sure. I did swap out lip oil. This is the Black Sparkle one, so this, I believe, is Jacob's, right? This is, yeah, Team Jacob, the wolf on the front. I like, why couldn't they have printed that on this oil? So you can see all of these lip oils are very sheer. If you were like, oh, I really would like a lip oil from this collection, but I don't want to wear like a black or blue lip or a red that intense, it's not. <laughs> it's just a little tint. So I actually am kind of liking the way my lips just with the lip oil are looking with this eye look. I think it's I don't know. I was originally thinking I was going to put a lipstick underneath, but I think instead I'm just going to kind of line a little bit. And I'm just leaving the lip oil on because I want this to be kind of sheer and diffused. So this is their lippy pencil in Dopey. I'm going to pat in the lip oil a little bit and probably add a little bit more. Lip is looking great. I'm into it. I am grabbing a brush and we are going to go over top of that Super Shock bronzer with this powder bronzer in Summerland Beach. So I'm just going to press that on. The Super Shock is definitely showing through and still looking good. So this bronzer is not much off from my like skin tone. It's a very light bronzer for me which is gonna be perfect because like I said, I just want it to kind of help extend the longevity of my bronze and that Super Shock is still looking so good. So they're not my most favorite. They're definitely very like cheer for me. I think they're a little hard pressed. Not that I don't like it, it's just not like my favorite, you know? We're gonna go over just with a little bit of powder blush. This is Sassy Pants. Not a ton because that blush is coming through really beautifully. I do like when ColourPop does their powder blushes in the cardboard packaging more, but I'm pretty sure these were launched when ColourPop was coming into Target, so I get the need for like a clear cover. I just prefer the cardboard packaging. I think it's it's a little more fun. We're gonna add more highlighter. The glow is still coming through, but more is more, and I wanna highlight my nose because I love to highlight my nose. And we're going to go back on top of our cheek highlight to bring it a little more intense because why not? All right, y'all, here is our finished look, a full face of ColourPop. I really am happy with my purchase of the Twilight 
collection. I didn't buy the full collection, but the palette, the highlighter, the lip products, I'm really happy with what I did buy. And I have fun testing the complexion products again, as well as shopping that stash for ColourPop products that are here with me. And I really like this eye look. I'm looking forward to playing with this a lot more. I think even if this palette weren't Twilight themed, it's a really beautiful color story. And the fact that it's like Twilight themed just, just adds a little bit of fun. But I do really like my look. I'm headed out the door. I think first stop is going to have to be Starbucks. I need some coffee. I hope whatever you are doing, you're having an amazing day. Please do subscribe. I have so many videos coming. I hope you enjoyed this one today and I'll see you very soon in another one. Bye.